Welcome to Texas Redfish Hunter TV. So right about now, Core and I are feeling pretty good. That red that she just caught taped out to about 16 inches. So we were pretty happy. We'd had a rough with all the flooding that Houston's been getting lately. We've had a rough, rough couple of weeks. So it was nice to get back out on the water, see the fish there. She told me she was getting bites at a spot in the cut on her side. I decided to give it a cast and hooked up pretty quick. Now right here, I didn't really know what this thing was. This thing was fighting weird. It was swimming at me and it was kind of pulling but I really couldn't tell what it was and once you get to the end here you'll see why I was so surprised So after that the bite died off a little bit at that inlet so we decided to move along deeper into the marsh. I decided to stand up, start throwing the gulp and see what would happen. So while I'm doing this, I hear Cora start screaming from across the marsh. She ended up hooking into this. And of course she didn't have her eye on on, so we didn't catch any footage. So what you got here is pretty much the aftermath. I'm sorry. Oh, what a beauty. Yeah, that's fine. I need him in the water. I, I will die if another redfish dies because of me. Thank you. I'm, I got nervous. I never know what to do by myself. Here we're fishing these marsh cuts, and this time it's me without my GoPro on. Yeah? Yep. Is your GoPro on? Here. Is he on still? This red decided to run up into the marsh grass right in front of me, so he got stuck. I actually had to get out of the kayak, try to get him out of the marsh grass. He, I could see him sitting on top of the, on top of the grass, not moving. Um, so I figured he was well and caught, but he ended up getting out himself, and I had to fight him a little bit more.
but it's okay. Wait, why is it rattling? Because I did light it down. I reeled it in and laid it down. So walk over here with my camera. So after I released that red, I noticed my GoPro was starting to die, so I was having to turn the GoPro on whenever I hooked up. So I didn't get the camera on until this red was up almost next to the kayak because he decided to run right at me when he hooked up. Now he's a decent red, sorry for the horrible angle on him, but yep, another red on the day. It wasn't long till I hooked up again. I don't know what Cora's doing, but I was the one getting all the action at this point. She was killing me early on, but lately it's been me catching the fish. Another just short red, but I love it when they have multiple spots. So right at the end of the day in our last spot, I ended up hooking up with another red fish. We came here just trying to use up the rest of our live shrimp. Ended up hooking into the biggest red of the day. Both of our cameras were dead though, so Cora had to whip out the iPhone and record it with the iPhone. Got some good footage, so here's the rest of it. As I said, that was our last red of the day. Beautiful fish. So throughout the day, we caught a lot of different fish. Here, Cora's actually hooked up to a black drum. My GoPro died right here, so we had to take a picture of it, but it was a nice black drum. It was a keeper drum. Uh, that was the biggest black drum of the day, but we caught a handful of puppy drum on Mina, and then we also caught a lot of croaker. Between us, I'd say we caught like 50 fish today. Uh, we were definitely throwing live shrimp out there, that's what they were wanting. I threw the gulp, caught the couple little reds, but uh, nothing big was hitting the gulp, so I stuck to what was working. I know it's a little bit easy, but if it's catching fish, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we also caught speckled trout. I think here is a video of one of the speckled trout that was caught throughout the day. Uh, this one was actually really weird because this one had very few spots. It had a lot of spots like on its tail and on its on its fins, but on its body it only had one. 
So it was definitely an interesting, an interesting trout. So that is it for this episode of Texas Redfish Hunter TV. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be putting out content like this as much as possible, documenting all my fishing trips. Also, like us on Instagram at Texas Redfish Hunter, and we'll see you guys next time.